considering the conditions we're in right now, it's a cold, rainy, wet environment. It would be ideal for us to get a shelter built where we contain both us and a fire at the same time. That means if it starts to rain again, we're gonna be protected along with our fire. There's lots of hemlock boughs here, so I'm gonna pile those up. Nice thing about them is they fan out and felt together, so I don't need a lot of main body to get it to all hold together. This forest here is really ideal because we have everything you need really to build a, a long-term shelter. So typically when you're building these, you want a little bit of airspace at the top. That'll release the smoke. And as temperatures drop and plummet, you want to seal that up more and more. You see the sod's really nice because basically there's layers and layers of roots and greenery and debris that's holding this all together. So if you can get to that, get down to the main soil and peel it up, you've got a great waterproof roof structure right there and super insulated. So what I'm gonna do is focus the sod on the parts where Joe and I are gonna be sleeping so the rain doesn't hit us directly and then that whole thing will still keep breathing really well. All right, ah, nice one. We'll see if I can get something going with this. This shelter is not something I would have built. Matt wanted to build it, good on him. All right, let's get this fire going. It's gonna work, but if he thinks we're gonna stay here for three or four days, he's high as a